Hello, hello. It is Wednesday the 15th and today we are going to be talking about turning an improper fraction into a mixed number and then a mixed number back into an improper fraction. And we know how to do this. This is all review. We're going to be reviewing the big C and that is turning a mixed number into an improper fraction. And then when I need to turn an improper fraction. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm losing my voice. And when I need to turn an improper fraction into a mixed number, I know I just have to divide. So two things we're going to be looking at today, dividing and the big C. Easy peasy stuff. Something we've done a hundred million times. Nothing new. Okay. First things first, big C. So I got six and two thirds. I want to turn this into an improper fraction. I draw my C. I multiply the bottom. I add the top. So three times six is 18. Plus two more gave me 20. So 20 is my new numerator. What's my denominator? Three. Bam. Easy peasy. Done. Let's try again. Um, eight and two fifths. I want to turn this into an improper fraction. Draw your big C. Multiply the top, bottom, add the top. Five times eight is 40, plus two more is 42. So 42 is my new numerator. What's my denominator? Five. Wonderful. Okay, let's talk about dividing. Okay, let's say I have. Doo -doo -doo. 27 divided by 5. I need to turn this into a mixed number. All I got to do is divide like normal. 27 inside the house, 5 outside the house. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers really? Just in case we forgot. Okay. 5 can go into 27. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 is too big. So that's five times. Five times five is 25. And when I subtract, I'm left with two. Okay. This is where some of us get confused. Don't get confused. If I was to tell you, ask you, what is your answer? Your answer is five, right? Just five. So five is your whole number. Your remainder is your numerator. What's the leftover is your numerator. And then the denominator stays the same. It's always going to be this. So two, five and two fifths is your mixed number. Do another one. Let's do a hard one. Let's do like 96 divided by 11. So 96 is inside the house. 11 is outside the house. If I wrote my multiples, I got 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99. 99 is too big. So I need to take one. So it'd be eight times. Eight times 11 is 88. And when I subtract, what am I left with? I'm left with eight. So whole number. What is your answer? Your whole number is eight. What is your remainder? Eight. That's your new numerator. And the denominator always, 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 always stays the same. Eleven. So eight and eight elevenths would be your answer to turning 96 elevenths into a mixed number. So let's look at the work you are doing today. If you forgot how to get to it, no big deal. I'll be more than happy to show you that again. Share. Great. Okay. Remember, go to your email or go to your um, Google. As long as you're clicking those nine dots, all you got to do is hit slides. I think it worked. Slide. And it's going to be the very first thing you last did. So whoop, there it is. Adding and subtracting fractions again. And it should already be saved what you did yesterday. Yesterday, I put my name. I mean you completed this one and you completed these. I mean you worked on a few of these together and you finished completing it. And now you're today, you're in charge of doing 
five and six only. So pretty easy day today, just five and six. So let's look, five. Oh, okay. So it says, using the standard method or the number of, oh, standard method. Standard method. Solve the improper fraction turn to a mixed number. So all I need to do is divide. So say we did 13 over six, whatever your answer is, you're gonna pick it up and drag it. And you're just gonna stick it inside that box anywhere, okay? I'm not saying these are correct answers. I'm just simply showing you how you're clicking, moving, and dragging. If you click one and it's not in the right place, remember you can always go up here to undo, okay? And then the next slide you're doing today, it says match up the improper fraction to the mixed number. Okay, cool deal. So for you to draw a line, all you gotta do is click this button right here. It literally says line, line. And say, let's do 13 divided by two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, so six and one half. Draw my line, bam, easy peasy. Next one, let's do 12 divided by four. What's 12 divided by four? That one's easy. Three, click your line. Oh, line. 12, there we go. So that's all you're doing today. Easy peasy, easy stuff. Okay, if you have not already completed the everyday math from yesterday, work on that, it's due Friday. And then we have a quizzes. Um, for you to do and I will be putting that code in shortly. So slides five and six and that quiz is code and that quiz is about improper fractions and mixed numbers. If you have any questions let me know um, and I hope you have a good um, Wednesday. See you soon.